everyone, my name is Karen, this is my channel Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing to you my book swapathon vlog and wrap up. Hi guys, it is, what time is it? 1.33 p.m. on Sunday, the 19th of August. It is day one of Book Swapathon. So I've been out all morning this morning. I just got home. Um, I went for breakfast this morning with my parents. I then went to my niece's grand final. Um, unfortunately, she lost. They lost 3-0, but she played really well, especially in the first half. So what can you do? You can't win them all. Um, we then went to watch just like the second half last 30 minutes of my dad's team's game because my dad wasn't playing so that he could go watch um, my niece play um, but we just watched the worst 30 minutes of that and then I've come home and now I'm home so I don't have any plans really for the rest of the day I'm going to dinner tonight at my parents place um, my parents are having a roast my sister it's like family is going around I'm going around um, and we're going to have roast dinner which will be lovely but between now and then I don't, and like later tonight, I don't have anything going on. So, I kind of want to. My first read for Book Swapathon is going to be I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. This is the book that I received from Kelly, my book swap buddy. Um, and I would really like to read this entire book today. I haven't done that in forever, but I have a really solid time now where I can just sit here, lay here, whatever, and read. This is only. How many pages is this? 371 371 pages I think that I can do this so I probably go around to my parents place around five so I've got what like a solid three and a half hours to read at least the first part of this before I go around to my parents so that is what I'm going to do now so I might check in with you guys later today let you know what my progress has been on this so I'll talk to you guys again soon about what progress I've made on my first book for book swapathon Hi guys, it is now, where's my phone, it is now 4.53pm and it's about to get dark, um, but, and I'm about to head to my parents' place for dinner. I have been reading I Let You Go pretty steadily since I last checked in with you guys, tucking, tucking, taking a couple of breaks for lunch and snacks and things. Um, so I'm on page... 219. I think I said there are what 371 pages thereabout. So I'm over halfway. I'm enjoying this so far. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really looking forward to seeing where it goes. I really want to finish this today, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. But I'm hopeful. Um, I don't have anything going on after dinner at my parents' place. I'll probably get home from theirs with a couple of hours of reading still to go in the evening. So Hopefully I can still finish this tonight, but I need to go now because I need to, I realize that I haven't changed, pardon me, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't changed Winnie's kitty litter, um, which I normally do over the weekend, so I need to do that um, and feed her and then head to my parents' place to feed myself. So I will check in, if I finish, I let you go tonight, I'll check in with you guys then and give you guys my thoughts. If not, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow I guess when I get home from work because I am working full-time as usual this week but I will talk to you guys soon hi folks it is 5 4 p.m. on Monday the 20th of August which is day two of book swapathon so I actually called out sick to work today I was not feeling very well at all I think I was fighting off a cold for most of last week um, and it all just kind of hit me last night. Ah, no. Winnie loves a bun. Like, if I put my hair in a bun, then she just constantly tries to attack it. Anyway, so, yeah, I wasn't feeling the greatest. So, I haven't got much read today uh, because I've spent a big chunk of the day asleep. And then I've also been trying to do some work from home where I could to get through some urgent things so that things aren't hugely terrible at work tomorrow although I suspect they will be anyway because if you guys saw my previous vlog then you know that things have been crazy for me at work so anyway reading update I finished last night I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh so that was really exciting I did re end up reading this entire book yesterday which was awesome um 
yeah, I enjoyed it. I don't think I enjoyed this quite as much as some other people did, but I did still really love it. So there's a kind of twist that happens in this, um, which I don't think is a spoiler because it's a thriller. You all know there's going to be a twist. I just said you all. Um, and I kind of had contemplated part of the twist. So I wasn't super shocked by that part of it, but I didn't, I hadn't really thought about how that was going to play out. Like I didn't know how it was going to work. And the way that it like turned out that it worked, I was like, I hadn't seen that part of it coming. So like that was cool. I also think this is a really interesting, like it's got some very interesting themes in here. Definite trigger warnings for domestic abuse um, and just kind of grief. Um, but yeah, and I'm sorry, I apologize profusely if you can hear the cat constantly scratching at her kitty litter. So yeah, I did finish this last night, which I'm so excited. So I've officially finished book one, which is the book that completes my buddy swap challenge because I was sent this by my buddy, Kelly. So one book down, I then also started today, like I said, I haven't read very much, but I have read a little bit here and there. I started um, my book, The Babysitter by Cheryl Brown. This is the book that I'm reading for the cover swap challenge, the book that needed to have um, the letters for SWAP for swap on the cover. This is the book I picked for that. I'm 13% of the way through, so not super far, far through so far. This is a thriller um, and it's got very short chapters. And it's very, like, quick, easy read for the part of it that I've read so far. So I think I'm going to be able to get through this fairly quickly. Um, so I do have knitting group tonight, which I wasn't sure if I was going to go to because I hadn't been feeling, obviously, the greatest, but I feel a lot better now. So I think I am going to go to that because I didn't go last week because I had to skip it because of the work dinner that I had to go to last week. So I think I am going to go, but I don't need to leave for that for, like, an hour like over an hour. So I think I'm going to do some more reading of this before I go. I do need to feed the cat soon because it's almost her dinner time, hence why she is being an absolute crazy thing. So yeah, that is kind of it for this clip. I definitely won't finish a book today, obviously. Um, so because no way I'm reading like 87% of this book tonight because I am working full time. But I'm hopeful that and I'm really going to try as hard as I can because I've been really lax with like getting reading done even on the bus. Like I've been working through my lunch break most days for the past couple of weeks. But I really want to push to even just try to read on the bus, to like get in as much reading as I can because I've been really lax about that lately. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys probably when I get home from work tomorrow. Hopefully I've made really good progress in The Babysitter and can talk to you guys a bit more about my initial thoughts on that book. So I'll talk to you guys again soon. Hi guys, it is 12.27pm on Tuesday the 21st of August. It's Book Swapathon Day 3. Um, I'm home from work again today. I felt all right, last night went to knitting, came home from knitting, started to feel really crap again, and I felt really crap this morning. I'm dealing with kind of like a sinus infection. Um, anyway, I feel a little bit better now, and I decided to treat myself because I've, I've still been working. I've been doing stuff from home, which sucks. Um, but I decided to treat myself by going out to pick up some lunch, and I decided in the spirit of Book Swapathon while I was out to check out this little free library that I'd heard about that's not too far from where I live. Um, that I hadn't been to yet. Um, I'm going to take you guys with me. I need to be really quick about this because I'm not actually sure that where I'm parked I'm allowed to park, but there's nowhere to park anywhere around here, so I'm just kind of parked on the side of the road. So, yeah, let's quickly go and check out this little free library. So here it is. It's really little, and it's actually already overflowing. So that's cool. Well, that was a bit of a bust because it was really small and there was nothing there that I was really interested in. I didn't bother putting into any of my books that I had because it was already overflowing. But it's definitely something that I'll come back and check out in future. And it's always fun to check out little free libraries. So I'll check in with you guys later today, let you know how my reading's gone for the day. So I'll talk to you guys then. Bye. Hello. It is 8.16pm still on Tuesday, day three of Book Swapathon. So, I look a hot mess, but I had a massage appointment tonight. Am I zoomed in? I think I am. Yes. Um, I had a massage appointment tonight. I came home from that. I've just quickly eaten dinner, and then in approximately 14 minutes, I am on the schedule for Twitter sprints for a couple of hours. So, I'll be doing that, and then I'll be heading straight to bed. So, I thought I'd update you guys just before I start the Twitter sprints. So, last night on my Kindle, I made it 29% of the way through the babysitter. 
And then somehow today I finished the whole book. I mean, I was off work, but I also did a lot of work from home today. But somehow just reading a bit here and there, I managed to completely finish that book. So I'm really happy with that. So this is a adult thriller novel that basically follows a family who the father is a police detective and the mother is an artist who kind of works from home and their neighbor who is in her like early 20s I guess she's supposed to be this house burns down and they end up kind of taking her into their home and she ends up kind of becoming their live-in babysitter however things are maybe a little more sinister than they seem and that's not a spoiler that's one of the problems I had with the book is that there's no real suspense aspect to the story because you know from the get-go that this babysitter is not everything that she says that she is and that she's got ulterior motives so there was no real like guessing or trying to figure out what was going on because we the reader knew what was going on it was just about I guess us following the family and them and hoping that they were going to figure out what was going on I just didn't really think that this book had anything new to add to this type of story. Like, this type of story has been done um, and been done better, I guess. I also didn't think that, um, like, there were parts of the story that just, like, didn't make sense to me. That I was just like, as if no one would have looked into this girl a little bit more. And the lack of faith that the main characters kind of had within each other was really frustrating to me. Um... I also thought there were parts of the characters that were really underdeveloped and just parts of the story, like I said, that just didn't make sense. So I just didn't think, Winifred, get off the laptop. Ugh, um, apologies. Um, yeah, that I just didn't think were done super well. Um, so I'm giving it a 2.5 stars, so like not my favourite. But for the Twitter sprints that are now going to be going on for the next couple of hours, I'm not sure how much I'll get read while I'm running the Twitter sprints, but I will be starting my next book on my Kindle. So the baby sweat. The Babysitter met the challenge of my cover swap. So I've now completed the cover swap and the buddy swap challenges. And my next book I'm picking up is School for Psychics. Um, I think it's by Casey Archer. This is the book that is to meet my challenge for my TBR swap. This is the book that I gave my friend Emma four different titles. And just based purely off the title, she picked a book out for me and she picked School for Psychics. So that is the book that I'm going to be picking up um, to read during... The Twitter Sprints, which will be kicking off in just under 10 minutes. So I'm going to go now and prepare myself for the Twitter Sprints. Um, and I'll check in with you guys um, when I get home from work tomorrow. I am going to work tomorrow. I feel still not like fantastic, but I do feel a lot better. Um, and I think, you know, not really going out tonight. I mean, I went out for a massage. It's not really the same thing. Um, and just spending the next like two hours just chillaxed at home, doing a bit of reading, a bit of Twitter Sprints. And then having a good night's sleep, I think I'll be fine to go to work tomorrow. That is the plan. So I'll talk to you guys when I get home from work tomorrow with my update for book four. I can't believe it's already, sorry, book four, day four. I can't believe it's already day four tomorrow. So I'll definitely talk to you guys again soon. Hi, guys. It is 6.06 p.m. on Wednesday, the 22nd of August, which is day four of Book Spopathon. Guess who was off work again today? I don't know what, like, I know what it is. I, every evening I don't feel too bad. And then by the morning I feel like complete trash. Um, but it's, I know it's got to do with the sinuses because all the build up and stuff that happens overnight. And then it leaves me feeling so awful um, in the morning. But I've been on the nasal spray and stuff now after I saw the doctor yesterday. So I'm hoping for a better tomorrow. I do have quite a headache right now, but I'm hoping for a better tomorrow. So I have, just by... I don't know, it sucks that I've been sick and I have had to do a lot of work while I've been at home, which also totally sucks. But because I've been at home and I've technically been off sick, I've been working, but I've also been like kind of reading like intermittently and just like still like getting stuff read. So last night I made it. So I started School for Psychics. I think I mentioned yesterday that that was my next book. Um... This is the book that I'm reading for my TBR swap. I started it last night during the Twitter sprints that I hosted. I managed to get 25% of the way through, which I was really pleased with. Um, so I was 25% of the way through last night. I'm currently, so like I said, I've been reading kind of sporadically. Why does the cat always go into the kitty litter while I'm filming? 
I swear to God, she's either in the kitty litter, she's behind me trying to bite my head, or she's just jumping at me constantly. I'm currently 53% of the way through now, so I'm over halfway, um, which I'm really, really pleased with. And so it's t almost 10 past 6 now. I have just been to the physio. I've just come back from the physio for my weekly physio appointment. Um, I actually feel really good right now, which is in terms of the back headache and sinus infection still there, but my back feels really great at this particular moment, which is good. Um, I don't have anything going on tonight. I should be going to training, but I texted my coach already earlier and said that I've been off work for three days with a sinus infection and I ain't going to training. And we don't have a game this weekend. We've got a buy round, so um, I'm not fussed about it. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, because I don't like training. But yeah, so not going to training. So I do am hosting more Twitter sprints tonight at 8.30 um, for another two hours my time. Um, and I don't have anything else going on now. I do just want to eat dinner at some point. And my main plan, which I wanted to try get part of it done today, and I just didn't get around to it because I did so much work, is editing the previous vlog. My uploads for August have been terrible. I think I've posted two Three. I've posted three videos. No, two, I think. What? And it's, what, the 22nd? I haven't even posted my book haul for July, my Marked as to Read, which are videos that I filmed almost two weeks ago now. Um, so I'm going to get that vlog uploaded. Um, that's my plan, is to get that edited and uploaded tonight before the Twitch sprints. And then hopefully I can make it a decent chunk of the way through this like just with a little bit of reading before the Twitter sprints and then during the Twitter sprints and get pretty close to finishing this tonight, which would be amazing because it's only day four of the readathon and this will have, this is my third book. So yeah, I'm making really good progress. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Uh, let you know my update for day five. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye guys. Hi guys, it is 5.42 p.m. on Thursday, the 23rd of August. So we're now on day five of Book Swapathon, kind of getting towards the home stretch. So I made it to work today. Look at me being an adult in my adult clothes. Um, I didn't have a great day, so there's that, but I did make it. Um, and now I'm home, so, you know, there's always a silver lining. So, and the silver lining actually to going to work, I'll talk about this first, is that my package had arrived while I was away, so I ordered some merch from the Buffering, the Vampire Slayer podcast, which is like my favorite podcast. I love it. Um, and I like to support things like podcasts and that that I really enjoy because, you know, it's not like they're huge money-making ventures, so I do like to support where I can. Um, and so I bought some merch because I love this stuff. But so I, I'll i just kind of show you. I have to show you kind of with one hand because the other hand's holding the camera. So I bought, I don't know if you can see, it's this tank, and it says on it, Local Girl Gang, The Slayers, Buffy and Faze, and it's like this really fluorescent orange colour, which normally wouldn't be a colour that I like, but I actually really like this. The only issue is, I couldn't tell from the pictures, and I don't know if you can tell here, it's actually really short. It's like almost like a crop tank, and your girl doesn't wear anything crop. So I'm not sure where I'm going to be able to wear it. It's also like one of those tanks as well that's like really deep cut on the sides. So like would look really cute with like a bralette, but I don't wear bralettes. So I don't know, but I still really like it. And then I also purchased, do I have it here? Yeah, I do. I also got the um, CD of the song. So if you don't know, the podcast is a podcast around Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the TV show. And at the end of every episode... They sing an original song about the show, and the songs are so good. Like, um, the podcast people are so talented, and so I got this. But so these two things, this tank and the city, cost me more than $60 once I paid shipping and the conversion rate because it is in US dollars, but I'm still really happy with it, and I will slowly collect the CDs. Like, next time there's a really cool piece of merch that I want to order, I'll order, like, this, the CD for Season 2 and so on and so forth. They're currently... Um, at the early portion of season four on the podcast. If you guys are interested, if you're Buffy fans, then definitely check it out because it is so, so good. Anyway, back to Book Swapathon. So, last night I hosted Twitter sprints. I think I mentioned that I had more Twitter sprints that I was hosting. And by the end of the Twitter sprints, I was 88% of the way through School for Psychics. So, you know that I had to stay up and finish it before I could go to bed. And um, so I finished it last night, which is 
crazy. So in the first four days of Book Swapathon, I finished three books and like three like novels, like normal size books, which is crazy. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's definitely kind of tropey. It is supposed to be, the characters in it are supposed to be in their early 20s. You know, like one of the students at the school was previously a police officer for like a year or two and like this character at the start is gambling in Vegas, like she's over 21, like they're supposed to be early 20s, but it really, really, really reads like young adult, like I had to keep reminding myself that they were that age, because it really reads like it's written about like 16, 17 year olds, so that's one critique I would have of it, and it's pretty tropey, but it was pretty, I was pretty invested, um, like it definitely built a lot of like tension around you felt like you couldn't trust anyone and all of that type of thing. That was done pretty well. Like, I enjoyed it. I'm giving it a 3.5 star. And it is the first book in a series. I'm not sure how many there's going to be. There's only a second book listed, so I'm not sure if it's just a duology. I think the second book doesn't come out till April. Um, so I'll keep an eye out on NetGalley in case the second book goes on NetGalley so that hopefully I can maybe get it to read the second one. So, having said that, I finished that book. So now... Let's talk about my TBR. So the only book left on my TBR is a book that I'm using for the remaining three challenges, which is the Genre Swap, the Unhaul Swap, and the Setting Swap. So I'm going to insert a clip here that I took on Saturday when I went and did the Unhaul Swap. So I'll insert that now. Hi guys, it is Saturday, the 18th of August. It is 11.17 a.m. So Book Swapathon starts in just under 13 hours and I'm here in the car park at the library. I have Love Bites, 101 Tips for Dating Guys with Fangs by Claire Hooper, which I really hated, to return to the library to pick up something new for my unswap challenge. So I'm headed in now. Let's hope that I can find something that I enjoy much more than this one and I'm about to head in now. So I'll check in with you guys and let you know guys know what I pick up when I come out. So see you soon. Okay, it is now 11.41, so I spent a good like 20 minutes in the library trying to find something. So I mentioned, if you watched my TBR video already, that I wanted to double up on this challenge with the genre swap to pick something in poetry, because poetry is the only thing that I could really think of that's really, really outside my wheelhouse. So I found the poetry section, it wasn't very big, and there was like nothing there that I was even slightly interested in. I was really hoping that they were going to have some of the more recent, like popular poetry that I've heard of by like Rupi Kaur or Amanda Lovelace or someone like that that I thought maybe I might enjoy. So I've literally ended up picking something because it was short and I liked the cover. And I did skim kind of just to see whether the poems were kind of, I thought, more readable. Because there's a lot of poetry that isn't super readable, I don't think. But I still really don't feel good about it. So I'm nervous about this challenge now, you guys. So I've got The Other Country by Carol Ann Duffy. So this is only about... How long is it? It's only... 53 pages so at the very least if I don't enjoy this I can get through it quickly um, I think this may be poems to do with I don't know I thought maybe it had to do with immigration but I don't see that word on the back at all or just the country generally I don't know you guys I'm really nervous about this now but at least hopefully I can get through this quickly and maybe I'll enjoy it more than I think that I'm going to you can see on the inside flap here that she has quite a few poetry collections that have really nice covers they didn't have any of these other ones at the library where I was because I think maybe this one the world's wife like that title or like feminine gospels even rapture love poems I feel like any of those I might have been more interested in than this one but this is literally what I think is going to be my best choice out of what my library had so fingers crossed hope for the best but yeah that's what I am going to be reading for my both my genre swap and my unhaul swap and maybe even my setting swap so stay tuned okay so you will have just seen in that clip that I picked up the other country by Carol and Duffy and I'm real nervous about it but I don't want to pick this up now because I'm using this for the setting swap and my plan I mentioned in my TBR is to try read outside. Now it is winter in Australia but I've checked the forecast and on Saturday it is supposed to be 19 degrees that's Celsius. I'll put the Fahrenheit conversion down here just for 
your ease of reference for you US viewers. Um, and it's supposed to be, let me double check. Oh, it's dropped to 18, but still 18, sunny, no rain. It's not too bad. And there isn't really anywhere at my place to go out, like, to, like, sit outside. So I'm thinking I'm going to go around to my parents' place. My parents have, like a porch swing type thing but we don't really have porches in Australia so it's out the back but I think I'm gonna go out to my parents backyard and sit on that and read this on Saturday so I don't want to pick this up yet which means it's time to go off TBR you guys so I think I'm gonna pick up now Gods in Am Alabama by Jocelyn Jackson so I took this to work today but huh, funny funnily enough I didn't get a single page read today but I, w I think I'm gonna read this because one this is a library book um, and I didn't manage to get any library books into my TBR, and so it'd be great to get one read. Um, and this one is only, it feels really heavy, but it's about 270 pages, so it's not super long. Um, and I've been really excited to read this as well. So I think I'm going to pick this up, and then hopefully I can get this read on over like today and tomorrow, and then maybe a little bit of Saturday, and then I can also read this. So that's the plan. I don't have anything going on tonight. So, hoping to get a lot read. I don't have anything going on tomorrow night either. I might message my sister and see if my sister wants to come around because we sometimes hang out on Fridays, but it's very rare these days because I normally train on Fridays, but there's no training this week because we don't have a game this weekend. So, that's the plan with this. Also, I have also started listening to an audiobook today. Let me pull that up. So, I'm listening to... This doesn't really fit any of the challenges either. Like, I don't need it to. I've, if I finish this then I will have checked off all six challenges. That's the plan. So I was listening today on audio to The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I'm sure you guys have all have heard of this. It's a very popular YA contemporary novel. It follows two main characters. We're following um, Tasha, Tasha, who is a um, Jamaican of Jamaican descent, and her family has been living in the U.S., illegally and her family is being deported like they're being deported that night and then we're also following a character named Daniel who is of Korean descent but he is in in the country legally um, and they kind of meet up this day on the day that Tasha's family is being deported and she's kind of trying to find a way for her family not to be deported and Daniel is supposed to be going on a college interview and they kind of cross paths with each other and then it just follows them kind of spending the day together and it is a romance um so I've listened to how far through am I I'm 59% of the way through so I got through over half of that today so I'll definitely hopefully be able to finish that tomorrow then that's another book that I will have finished during book swapathon I've just had well I don't want to speak too early but I'm having a pretty amazing reading week if I don't do say so myself so yeah I'm 59% of the way through that I'm enjoying it um and then if I finish this and this and then plus the three books that I've already finished. And the audiobook, that's six books in a week, you guys. Which is really good. It's, like, not necessarily that amazing for me and my normal reading. But with what, the way my reading's been going over the last two or three months, that is a really good reading month for me. So, a reading week, I mean. So, yeah. That's it, I think, for this clip. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, by that stage, I've made really good progress with Gods in Alabama. And hopefully, by that stage, I've also finished The Sun is Also a Star on audio. And yeah, that's it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. It is... What time is it? It is 11.29 p.m. on Friday, the 24th of August, which is day six of Book Swapathon. Book Swapathon is almost over. So, um, I meant to check in with you guys earlier. Um... I was at work today. I actually had a really productive day at work, which was great. I feel like I finally have got through all of the like really like overwhelmingly. Oh, that lamp needs to be out of shot. Um, that's uh, through the like really constantly urgent stuff, I think, so that I can start to focus on some of the backlog. I just feel better about my position with how busy I've been at work. Um, which is good. I then came home. I then, I didn't read at all during the day, like at all, but I was planning to do some reading before my sister came round, but she came round earlier than I expected her, um, which was great. So I didn't end up, I literally haven't read a single page today. So I am reading Gods in Alabama by Joshua and Jackson. I read to page 118 last night. So 
I think there's 275 pages, so like not too far from halfway, really. Um, I'm really, ugh, if I can get that lamp out of shot, I am really enjoying this. Um, I have read another book by Jocelyn Jackson, um, The Almost Sea Start, which I loved. I read that earlier this year, so, and this is her debut. I mean, I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, so, I, my sister came around, like I mentioned. We watched two episodes of Buffy and an episode of Angel, um, which was great. It was great to get to hang out because um, with the soccer season and just everything, we really, we used to hang out like every Friday. We rarely get to do it these days, although hopefully we'll be able to go back to doing it pretty regularly now that the soccer season is close to um, coming to a finish. So, yes, we did that. Now my sister has left um, and I'm basically getting ready, about to get ready to go to bed. Um, and I'm going to read, I'm going to get ready, like going to go brush my teeth and get my pajamas on. And then I'm going to read a couple of chapters of this before I go to bed. So I am still hoping to finish this. And the poetry collection tomorrow to finish off book swap them. Also to update, I did finish The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon today on audiobook. So that's another book that I've um, finished. So I've read four books now. Um, I've read one physical book, two ebooks, and one audiobook. Um, I really enjoyed The Sun is Also a Star. Um, I don't know, it's hard to kind of go into my, a lot of the thoughts I feel like I have on, I have on it, I'd have to go into like too many particular details. Um, I liked that the main characters, the two like kind of love interests were both, they were very different, but at the same time really complemented each other. I really enjoy that in a story, like in characters. I, and I thought they had like decent chemistry, like I enjoyed the romance. The story is super insta lovey. It is set over a day. So it is very insta lovey. Um, I do think for insta love it was done pretty well, but it is insta love nonetheless. Um, but I did really enjoy it. I'm not sure on my rating yet. I had a quick look at a couple of reviews um, when I finished the book, but I was at work when I finished it, so I didn't get a chance to really look in depth um, into the other, like in anyone else's reviews and ratings to really kind of get my head around my final thoughts. I'm not sure what I'm going to rate that yet. Somewhere around a 4, but maybe like a 3.75, maybe a 4. I'm not sure. I need to like think on that a little bit more. Um, and then, yeah, I'm hoping to get both of these two finished. So if I get a few chapters in this tonight, so tomorrow, I don't have a lot going on that I can think of. I am running some Twitter sprints, so that's another thing. I'm, I've got two hours, I think, of Twitter sprints um, tomorrow, so I'll be able to get some read during that. Um, this in particular is very, like this is tiny. This is just over 50 pages. So I'll definitely be able to do this. And I'm planning to read this whole thing outside for the setting swap at my parents' place, like I mentioned. And then I should have probably like, I don't know, if I read a couple of chapters of this tonight, I'll probably have like just over 100 pages of this. So I'm confident that I can get 100 pages of this. And 50 pages of this read tomorrow. And then Book Swabathon will be over. So yeah, that is it for this clip. I will check in with you guys throughout the day tomorrow. I'll probably check in with you guys if I finish this before I pick up this. Then I'll check in with you guys with my thoughts on <laughs> this. Um, but I'll definitely check in with you guys. I'll give you guys maybe a clip outside at my parents' place um, where I'm doing my setting swap so you guys can get a glimpse of that but yeah I'll definitely check in with you guys probably a couple of times tomorrow so stay tuned for that bye guys hi guys it is 12 42 p.m on Saturday the 25th of August which means it is day seven the final day of book swap -athon. so I'm currently in my library car park um, I need to return gods in Alabama which I just finished today so last night I read to about page 160 something I had just over 100 pages left to read and then I went out for coffee this morning with my parents as I do every Saturday and when I came home I just lay down on my bed and read the last 100 or so pages in this so that I could bring it back to the library because this is overdue so I'm really glad I managed to fit this into my book swap -a -thon. 
um, TBR. So I really enjoyed this. I don't think I've touched on what this is about. So this is about a um, woman named Arlene. She's in her late 20s, early 30s. Um, and she grew up in Alabama and she's been living in Chicago for the past like nine years. Basically, she went away to college and has never been back because she made three promises to God that she would stop sleeping with random guys because she went through a period in high school where she was very promiscuous, shall we say, um, that she'll never tell another lie and that she'll never go back to her hometown if he would just make sure the body is never found. So that's kind of the hook in this. Um, and then through some circumstances, someone from her hometown ends up turning up in Chicago where she lives and things all kind of kick off from there. I did really enjoy this. There was some kind of twists and turns in the mystery that I really enjoyed. Um, this is the second book I've read by Joshua and Jackson. And once again, in this one, we have a mixed race relationship. Um, Arlene is white and she has a black boyfriend. And you get a lot of dealing with that because um, she is from a rural area in Alabama where race is, especially a mixed race relationship, is definitely going to be an issue. Um, and that was a, um, a theme in the um, last book um, of hers that I read as well. So um, I enjoyed this. Like I said, some twists and turns in the mystery, definite trigger warnings in this for rape. Um, but... I thought this was, I don't think this was as strong as the other book of hers, The Almost Sisters, that I've read, but I did still really enjoy this. It was just a good time. It had some really interesting commentary in there on family and, you know, that sometimes, so Arlene's father died when she was like eight or nine and her mother basically fell apart after her dad died and she grew up living with her aunt and uncle and her cousin like her and her mum moved in with them and her mum just basically checked out like mentally and has had very severe mental health issues um, like the rest of Arlene's life and so she was basically raised by her aunt and all the commentary in that about how her aunt really stepped up to be a parent for her and how her and her cousin were so close and the real love that she had for her cousin um, and just all of those types of things and even the commentary in her relationship with her boyfriend and how, like, the different things, you know, that can happen in relationships because Arlene doesn't have sex anymore and so her boyfriend and her have been in a relationship for several years and they haven't slept together and how her boyfriend's very understanding about that and all of that type of thing. I, this just had some really interesting stuff in it. Like I said, the different stuff about family and love and relationships and... And just also as well about the things that we assume about people and the things we assume about situations and that sometimes we think we know something and it turns out we really don't have a clear picture and that we never quite often really do get a full picture. Um, yeah, it's just really interesting commentary. I, I really enjoyed this. I'm giving this four stars. So I'm going into the library to return that and I am going to go back into the poetry section and just check to see if anything else has maybe got into there that so will be better than this because I'm really nervous about reading this. I doubt I'm going to find anything and then if I don't I'll just stick with this and then I'm going straight from here to my parents place to read out the back of their place. It is such a nice day today. It's about 19 degrees, 18, 19. I don't know what it is right now. That's the forecast. Let me check what the actual temperature is, shall we? So it is, it is currently 18.1 degrees. So it's just a really clear, beautiful day. I think exactly a week from today is the 1st of September, which is the first day of spring. Um, and yeah, it definitely has that kind of vibe in the air today, like spring is on its way, which is really nice. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys from my parents' place. <sighs> Maybe I'll find a better poetry book than this that I'm more interested in. Fingers crossed for me, you guys. Hi guys, it is now 1.15pm, um, I'm here in my parents' backyard. I was going to sit over on the like swing thing, but that's under the cover and it's so nice that I actually wanted to sit in the sun, so I've set up these kind of like camping chair that we normally take to soccer and I'm using the table that my mum normally uses to hang washing. I got myself a uh, chocolate uh, shake on the way here and I actually had luck at the library. I found a different poetry collection that I think I'm going to try instead. 
I got this. And I hope you guys can see it. I'm like looking into the sun, so I can't see that well on the viewfinder. So I hope you guys can see. Uh, I've got Everything All at Once by Stephen Camden. Um, it says on the back, it's about fitting in, finding friends and falling out, loving lessons, losing it, worrying, wearing it well and worshipping from afar. So I think this is um, poetry about like high school um, and it just seemed like maybe it was going to be a bit more lighthearted and a bit more something that I might enjoy. So I'm going to give this a go instead of, um, I did keep this one just in case. If this one turns out to be crap, I can swap back. But I don't think, this one's longer. It's... um like over a hundred pages but the poems are really like spaced out and stuff so I still think I'm going to get through this very quickly so I'll check in with you guys once I finished it and see how I go. I should also mention that I have my parents dog Holly here to keep me company. Oh she's so beautiful. Yes he's such a good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's now 1.44 p.m. So, and I finished this. So it took me less than 30 minutes to read, which is good. I didn't really like it. And I just looked it up on Goodreads. Sorry if you can hear the traffic noise, by the way. And I didn't realize, obviously, when I picked it up, because I just literally picked this up on a whim, um, that this was only just published in July. So it only has, I think it was 19 ratings. And nothing below a three star and I gave it a two star. So I feel really bad that I'm like the first two star review on Goodreads. But I have to be honest in my ratings. All right, guys. So I just, this is told, so it's by Stephen Camden. But it's not, it's like following a whole slew of kind of different characters in high school. So you get a whole bunch of different perspectives, which in some ways I guess can be good. But it just kind of threw me all around. And then I think because he was trying to write from all different people's points of views he also wrote in all different kind of styles and that didn't really work for me because I couldn't get into the flow of the different types and like I just poetry I just don't think it's for me like some of them would rhyme but in parts and then all of a sudden it would just stop rhyming like mid poem and it would just like throw me off I'm like I don't need the poems to rhyme but I don't know I just can't get into the flow of it um, I do, from I, having looked at this a little bit closer, I understand that this um, author is a spoken word poet. So maybe hearing these spoken would be better than reading them written down. I don't know. All I know is that I didn't really like it. But I am glad that I've read this because this completed three of my challenges. It completed my setting swap. Because here I am reading outside for the first time in like forever. And I'm actually getting a little bit sweaty from sitting in the direct sun. So I'm looking forward to going back inside. Um, this also completes my genre swap because it is poetry and I don't think I've read any poetry since high school. And it also completes my unhaul swap because I took a book back to the library and picked this up. So, yeah. Two stars though, but I'm still glad that I like gay poetry a go. I wouldn't, like I mentioned um, when I picked this book up, the more like very recent poetry um like by Rupi Kaur and Amanda Lovelace stuff like that I think I would maybe give a go that maybe I would enjoy more than something like this I thought because this was like high school that I was really going to be able to relate to this but I don't know I just didn't really like it I don't know now either what else I'm going to read because I don't need to read anything else like I've finished everything else I don't have any more challenges to check off I've read six books this week so I'm thinking that I'm not going to pick anything else up. I am running some Twitter sprints this afternoon um, in about three hours. Um, but I also ran Twitter sprints last night and I didn't do any reading during the Twitter sprints because my sister was around and we were watching Buffy. So I just did the Twitter sprints while I was watching Buffy. So I was cheating a little bit, but, you know, I don't get to hang out with my sister very often. So that kind of took priority last night. And it was easy enough to, like, still be active on Twitter while we were watching Buffy because it's not like a show I necessarily have to pay super amounts of attention to because I have seen it all a million times before um so yeah i may again not read tonight during the twitter sprints this afternoon because or maybe i should try and read this during the twitter sprints like the other pod but like i was never really that into this and i just really don't think poetry is for me so i don't know i'll probably check in with you guys later and let you know my final thoughts at the very least there will be a clip tomorrow wrapping up my week of book swap -a So in any event, I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye guys. So it is actually, what day is it today? It is Tuesday, the 28th of August. 
So the Book Swapathon has been over for a couple of days, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to give a quick kind of wrap up of everything that I read during the readathon, so on and so forth. So the first book that I completed was I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. This book completed the Buddy Swap Challenge. This is the book that I received from my wonderful swap buddy Kelly, and I really, really enjoyed this. It was a psychological thriller. I had a really good time with it. I then read another thriller novel, um, The Babysitter by Cheryl Brown. This one completed the challenge of the cover swap um, because I could make the um, word swap, S-W-A-P, from the letters on the cover. Um, so that one completed that challenge, which was really, really great. I then read School for Psychics by K.C. Archer. This one completed um, the challenge of the TBR swap. Uh, for this one, um, you had to like choose a different way I come up with a different method to pick your TBR and I messaged my friend Emma for titles and then she picked a book for me based purely off the title and School for Psychics was that book and I did complete it during the readathon. I then also read The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I listened to this one on audio. Um, this one didn't complete um, any particular challenge. It's just an audio book that I happened to listen to during the readathon that I also really enjoyed. I then picked up a library book um, because I got through the rest of my TBR really quickly and I had time left in the readathon. Um, and so I picked up Gods in Alabama by Jocelyn Jackson. This one I really enjoyed. Um, and again, this one didn't complete any particular challenges, but I did really enjoy. And the last book that I read for the readathon was Everything All at Once by Stephen Camden. And this one completed three different challenges for me. It completed the setting swap because I read it outside, as you guys saw. It also completed the, uh, what was the other ones? The genre swap because it was poetry and I never read poetry. It also completed the unhaul swap because I did, again you would have seen in my vlog, I went through um, and returned a book to the library and picked this one up for the unhaul swap challenge. So this book completed three challenges. So I read six books during the readathon. I completed all six challenges which was fantastic. I was really happy with how much I managed to read and I had a really really great time. Thank you to everyone who participated in any way whether you were participating just yourself at home, whether you're participating on booktube, on bookstagram, on twitter, just wherever. Um, we appreciated so much everyone's interactions. I had such a great time with my lovely co-host. I will once again leave a link to all of my lovely co-hosts down below. Please do subscribe to their channels if you're not already because they are all wonderful, wonderful women here on booktube who I would love for you all to subscribe to. But yeah, that's all I really have to say. It was such a great time. I enjoyed myself so much. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. That is all I have for this video today. Bye, guys.